on the cabinets here, I've actually got in order what you should do. And the two middle sections are the, is actually the cleanup section. So you actually skip over. The reason why I separated these so much is I wanted everyone separated from that hot plate right there. So um, I've also given a lot of space here so you can walk around. So only one person, your materials manager or your lab um, your lab aid or whatever you want to call it is going to come over here and do the first step which is to get a test tube and put it of, of the cold water and um, I put measuring cup in there just so you can make it a little bit easier try not to get any ice in it I'm just gonna take it and you're gonna go over the little mark I actually marked it in blue but I forgot that um, the water in the boiling is probably going to be uh, it's going to be expanding a little bit. So if I just went to the line here, and then I went over here, I'll pour a little bit out. Not much, just a little bit. Well, I went too far. There you go. See? I'm just going to do a little bit more. Kind of hard to hold the camera at the same time. There we go. So I went just a little bit over the blue line there. The blue line means cold water. So then I'm going to be the one who's going to give you the test tube. And in this case, um, these have actually cooled off a little bit because um, I was, uh, I've done this, a couple, I know, done this a couple of times. So, but you'll notice still when I turn this around, and I can do this. I can actually hold on to it because it's not as hot. Um, it's actually at this point, it's not as hot as it was because if it was, it would probably be a little higher there because water does expand when it boils. So anyway, that's how you set it up. And you want to get these even. So if they're not even, you might want to pour out some of the cold water to even up with the hot water is a little bit easier as opposed to pouring out the hot water because when I give it to you, it's going to be really hot, not like it is right now. The last thing you're going to do is pick up, and this is the most important part, um, you're going to pick up your food coloring so that you can start the experiment. And you want to hold the test tube holder with both hands and kind of grab onto this and then grab onto the other side and bring it back to your table. I'm expecting no glass to be broken today. Um, this is a test. If you can handle this, we're gonna do much more fun labs.